has... Oh, here we are. The Farpot is attacking the Slingshot, has managed to completely destroy the Slingshot show, so now... Oh, wow. Looks like... Okay, so Kron Abrin actually lost all of his forces already to a Sepipod that had come in, destroying his entire first generation triad, and his entire main base is now going to be locked in because he has no... He has lost his... his Slingshot, and he cannot build another one, so there's no way for his Arcus units to get out. There's no way for his... I mean, his Rear Suppressors and Arcticus can fly, but apart from that, nothing can get out. But it doesn't really matter, because his main base is now here, in this crater. So it doesn't look like Trillian has actually caught the yet. Apparently someone's attacking my teleporter. Yeah, it looks like... It looks like one of the teleporters is being attacked by Kron Aberrant. While at the same time, he appears to be trying to... Is he trying to hold this off? It's hard to tell. He is... He has gone in the past to try to affect something, some sort of change, but it's hard to tell what he's trying to do, because he can't actually, he can't destroy this, he can't stop this attack, his slingshot's going down. So the slingshot's been destroyed, so his main is completely locked out, in and out, unless he uses one of the neutral teleporters, which he's gone and destroyed, well, he had gone and destroyed, but it looks like he decided not to. As for, yeah, fire pods now coming in, so at this point, Trillian Ice is just assaulting the main, a bunch of Faropods, some Sepi Pods. There's some Sepis trying for Kron Everett trying to fend this off, or at least trying to move through, and they're getting completely destroyed. And it looks like Trillian Ice is just gonna just gonna clean this up. I mean, Kron Everett can pull out from under himself with this this main base here. He's got a progenitor tribe, he can start building up, but he doesn't have a spire, he doesn't have any tech, he hasn't got a reef or even a reef even. He has the Arcticus, and even that's going to be destroyed fairly soon, so his tech is fairly out date. All he can really do is use the Octopods and hopefully for him, get out there. He's sending an Octopods now to Assault, and if he's able to do it right, he'll be able to at least save his Arcticus, some of his main base, but no, sorry, his main base is out. His, this Agabod cannot be hit unless he gets his fire, but he will at least maybe be able to secure something, secure a second main and get some tech up, because at this point Trillian Ice is really pushing ahead of him in tech, pushing ahead of him in economy. There's nothing that he can really do unless he goes and techs up himself, which he doesn't seem to be planning on doing. And Trillian Ice has actually gotten... Well, instead of Farpod up in the top left corner, maybe she's trying to scout that area out, make sure no one's attacking. I don't know whether or not that will work. I'm just going to go in further in the future to see what's happening. So at this point, uh, it looks like he's going to try to build a reef, but it's not going to work the way he has his... Oh no, it's going to work. Okay, apparently reefs can build there at red squares, so I wasn't sure. However, so the reef is going to be built, so he is going to be able to get some tech up, but his Arcticus has been destroyed, so he cannot have any sort of command structure. Most of his resource processors were destroyed. Trillian Ice is pulling ahead. She hasn't gone and expanded herself, however, so she hasn't put up the economic advantage that she could use, and she could really secure one right now. And she still doesn't know where exactly Kron Aberrant's last base is. She doesn't know that it's in this little crater in the bottom right. So, in the near bottom right, that is. So, at this point, Kron Aberrant looks like he's going to be trying to go for an assault. He's got a fairly large army, but like I said, it's all octopods or base class units. He hasn't got any sepi pods or faro pods, or especially any, or any legal class units. So, looks like he is getting advanced structures, so he will be able to get a spire fairly soon once that advanced structures upgrade is done. And Trillian Eyes continuing to attack. Doesn't, she's looks like she's trying to affect something in the past, or at least look in the past. She hasn't gone forward or fast forwarded, fast forwarded or anything. Get past it. And advanced structures. Once it's done, looks like will will can ever see that and build a spire because he really needs that spire. That spire is the thing that's going to get him out of this game alive. If he does not build a spire, he will be destroyed. The only thing that's stopping him from being destroyed this soon is that Trillian does not seem that intent on scouting out this one crater. Maybe she knows, maybe she doesn't. At any rate, she has not scouted that one crater, so she hasn't been able to attack it. But once she does, then Kron is going to have to Kron Everett, sorry, is going to have to get around and just fight his way out, because otherwise he is going to lose. This is his last stand, if anything happens to that, to this main here. Otherwise he's going to be fine. If he can build the tech up, if he can get stuff up, although there's an Octoligo, oh my goodness, where's that Octoligo? It looks like I missed that. So apparently, oh yes, apparently Farapod and Sebipod actually were used to create an Octoligo in the main base, so Trillian Eyes looks like she's actually trying to expand into that main base, or maybe anyway. Because the Octo Ligo, you can create a Sepi Pod, or a Sepi and a Faro, and then from there you can create Octos to use the main base. So I'm guessing that's what she's trying to do. Although she hasn't gone and split down the Octo yet, or Octo Ligo yet. But it's interesting, she has low Ligo class, she has advanced building, she probably 
She doesn't seem to have any other tech yet, but at this point, like I said, Crown Aberrant, I wonder if any time in the future does he build up Spire yet. Okay, he does build up a Spire later on, but he hasn't done it as far past as Trillionize is, so Trillionize can still deal some damage. She's fast forwarding around though, so I'm just going to go over to when the Spire is to what Crown Aberrant is. Crown Aberrant seems to be just looping through again, trying to figure out... I mean, at this point, Trillionize has massive map control. She has eyes everywhere except the one crater she needs them, iconically enough. And it looks like, is she trying to set... No, okay, now she has eyes in that crater. Now she knows what's going on. The further past, she's probably going to send in as many units as she can with the Chrono Energy she has to try to get rid of this expansion here. Yeah, so she's got some Fire Pods coming in. She's got a Seppi Pod coming in. Another Fire Pod, or another Seppi's coming in here. And I'm sure another Fire Pods will be coming in. The Octoligo, unfortunately, is stuck in this base. Like I said, it wouldn't be a bad idea to split it down and just expand there, take that as new expansion. Completely secure, really. So, because at this point, Chrono Aberrant doesn't have any air units. So now, looks like for some, I guess. Building off the research process, there's no real difference there. Fire pods are coming in though. Trillionize, like I said, does know the space exists. It's going to be sending in more fire pods to try to take it out, but the octopods are holding off. The one fire pod is not going to do it. More fire pods are going to be needed. She has a bunch of fire pods in the top left corner. She hasn't sent in oddly enough. Maybe because she lacks the chrono energy, I'm not sure. Maybe she just hasn't done it yet. No, it looks like she still hasn't done it. So the spire has been built, so now. Now, Seppi pods and fire pods can be built for Chrono Aberrant. Although Crown Aberrant is sticking out in the present, I wonder if he's doing anything, if he has any plans, like Chrono Boarding or anything. It looks like he's got some dome set up in the present, but I don't know if it's going to do any good, because if he's not able to survive from the past, then all those domes in the present are going to do him nothing. So unless he got Chrono Boarding and it's just going to send units back, I don't see what effect it's going to have. But it does look like he is pushing for an expansion. Trillion Eyes will see it, though, if she's carrying it into a Fire Pod or close to it. Actually, it looks like you know, the Fire Pod's vision radius is just too short. It cannot see the research processors coming in, so she doesn't know what's going on, she's completely oblivious, and it looks like there's a bunch of semi pods now actually in the present, that is, from Carnabrin, he'll be sending those in the present. But further past, looks like, okay, so it looks like Chilean Eyes has in fact sent back Faro pods to attack this base, or at least to attack near the base, nope, attack the base. So all those Faro pods are going to attack the base, so like I said, as it is, Carnabrin's not going to have much luck at, oh, is she, oh no, Chilean Eyes does seem to be hesitating a bit with these Faro pods. Oh, okay, never mind, something odd happened. Looks like... Oh, did she? Oh, she chronoported the fire pods. Okay, so she's actually sent the fire pods back. Yeah, those fire pods went back in time. Now, gonna be attacking in the unplayable pass. Really nice rush, unplayable pass rush. Very hard to counter, and of course... I mean, he's got... Looks like Chrono Hammer's upgrading chronoporting, but it's too little too late. It's just... Actually, wait, no, it's not. It will be too little too late if he doesn't respond in time. I don't know if he's aware of this attack. He probably is, but he doesn't seem to have chronoported anything yet. If he does, well, we'll find out for this unit. Okay, so the pods look like they're chrono boarded. It's hard to tell whether they're chrono boarded too, though. We can follow them in the past. We can find out exactly what happened to them. And unless those are the Seppi pods, no, those look like the Seppi pods he sent out earlier, so he's not going to be chrono boarding them back. So at this point, it looks like those Seppi pods are going out of the base, and that's a big shame because you need to get rid of these fire pods, and these fire pods are not going to get rid of themselves. They're going to get rid of this base. And it looks like, okay, and so, Front Aberrant has lost. Julianus has won. Good game, everyone. And thanks for watching.